welcome back to Zoo Crafting. We are back. Welcome. <laughs> I almost started recording and I was like, I forgot my amazing scientist outfit. So I've cleaned up. I cleaned up. I cleaned up messes, but I has another package. News from Jacob. Um, new arrivals. Dear fellow zoo crafter, I have recently returned from a research expedition to Tasmania and have gathered together some animals and plants to add to the breeding projects running all over o Oikos. Unfortunately, not all the individuals brought back with me are able to enter the project. For this reason, they are currently being housed in the QA center next to my house waiting for adoption. So I'm leaving you this letter to let you know that you may at any time feel free to visit QA center and file for adoption of an animal if you wish, or visit the plant area next door where interesting specimens will be ready for you to take home. Animals will be delivered to your house by Jacob along with care items. We are also very happy to receive donations for our animals. These usually include old toys, carpets, and enrichment items. If you do not wish to adopt an animal but would still like to be of help, please use Oikob's ja Oiko's Jacob's Hone in the teleporters. If you have any questions, I would refer to you to my episode 6 or 7 when it is posted, or you may contact me via my mailbox or Skype. Thank you for your time, and I hope to see you over at Oikos sometime soon. Jacob, a.k.a. Sloth. P.S. Make sure you have the latest NPC files. <laughs> I don't, so we'll have to do that next episode. I'll have to update my NPC files, because they have new skins and stuff, and I haven't been there in a while. When is this grass ever going to grow? Like, holy free hole lays. All right. So let's head back, because we have another exhibit to do, and you've probably seen it right there. We have got some Quagga embryos to hatch today. The Quagga being our newest exhibit here up at the top of the gemstone canopy. Um, we're going to go over here to the newly created Quagga pen over by the desert because uh, the Quaggas, I've learned some stuff about the Quaggas. I got our rescue horse and I've gotten three other buddies with him. Unfortunately, I have 10 embryos, so we're not going to be able to get all the Quaggas today. So I'm going to take, hold on, let me take the saddles off these guys. We don't need them. I want to save them. Saddles are rare. Grab the saddles. Because quaggas, when you do hatch a quagga, you have to hatch them in, an, in a horse. So, luckily we had Mr. Rescue Horse here. Hi, Rescue Horse. Yes, you're a good horse. I saved you. Your friends I had to go out and find and locate and drag back with a lead. But I rescued you. So you're going to be our first one. Boop. Okay, so there's a quagga in your belly, right? Yep, there's a quagga in you. And boop. There's a quagga in you. There's a quagga in you. There's a little quagga in everybody. Boop. There we go. Four quaggas hatching. I'm going to stick those saddles in my backpack. I don't want to lose them. Okay. So while those are going, let's take our quagga book and learn a little more about the quagga. Let me see how you're doing. How are you doing? 24 of 100. Awesome sauce. So we've got the quagga. The quagga is an extinct subspecies of the plain zebra that lived in South Africa until the 19th century. It was long thought to be a distinct species, but genetic studies have shown it to be the southernmost subspecies of the plain zebra. Its name is derived from its call, which sounds like quahaha. The quagga is believed to have been around 257 centimeters, which is eight feet, five inches long, and 125 to 135 centimeters, which is about four feet tall at the shoulder. It was distinguished from the other zebras by its limited pattern of primarily brown and white stripes, mainly on the front part of the body. The rear was brown without stripes and therefore more horse-like. Little is known about the quagga's behavior, but it may have gathered into herds of 30 to 50 individuals. Quaggas were said to be wild and lively, yet were also considered more docile than the regular zebra. After the Dutch settlement of South Africa began, the quagga was heavily hunted as it competed with domesticated animals for forage. While some individuals were taken to zoos in Europe, breeding programs were unsuccessful. The last wild population lived in the Orange Free State, and quagga was, the quagga was extinct in the wild by 1878. The last captive quagga died in Amsterdam in 1883. 
In 1984, the quagga was the first extinct animal to have its DNA analyzed, and the quagga project is trying to recreate the phenotype of hair coat patterns and related characteristics by selectively, selectively breeding zebras. So that's kind of cool, because these were like the first creatures they ever like uh, ran D DNA analysis on, so sweet. Let me fix that. There we go. What was that? Oh, our ocean cows. How you doing? Almost hatched. You gonna give birth to a quagga? Is you gonna give birth to a quagga? I wanna see this. I'm so excited. I'm going to be a quagga mommy. See, I like this quagga pen. It's pretty nice. It needs more plant life. I need to get more plants for in here. Quagga. Quahaha. Quahaha. Is that what it sounds like? I wonder if these quagga will actually make noise like the quagga. Oh, it's close. It's close. It's close. Soon, TM. Oh, what happened? What happened? You hearted. What happened? What, what's going on here? Did it not work? Did you not hatch a quagga? No quagga babies? I don't get it. Did, is there like a chance you won't get a quagga? Is there a chance we won't get a quagga? Or is it broken? We're using the quagga embryos, but no quaggas are being born. So this is disappoint. Four for four. Maybe there's a rare chance you won't get a quagga. Or a good chance you won't get a quagga and a rare chance that you will. So maybe out of the next four. I want a quagga! Please be a quagga, mommy. Why don't you go this way? Why don't we go next to the other horses? Why don't you guys all keep together in a little, little horse breeder pen? They're all black and gray. I didn't realize that until now. <laughs> Must be all the horses in the area are not brown. Go back. Go back. Stay here. Thirty-five. Please make a quagga baby. I really want a quagga baby. I will have to go out and hunt some more quagga DNA. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna save the last two DNA embryos. I'm pretty sure it said to put the quagga in a horse. I'm fairly certain. The other ones you can put the embryos in like cows and and pigs and sheep, but the quagga has to be hatched in a horse. Hatched. Bred in a horse, I think. Honestly. Stay together! Everyone in a group! Stay with your friends! Stay with your, your breeding buddy! <laughs> uh. Okay. In here. In here. In here. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on, stay with me. We all need to stay in a group. Stop. Okay. Um, 70. Okay, they're scattering. I give up. There's no organizing these guys. Hello. Can you please breed me a quagga? I need a quagga in your baby belly. Maybe you're a boy horse. Would that explain it? You can't hatch a quagga because you're a boy. Are you all boy horses? Do I need to go out and find some girl horses? I can't tell. Are you a boy horse or a girl horse? 
Yeah, you can't look either, can you? Your head doesn't... Yeah. Could you tell me if you are a girl horse or a bo boy horse? Oh, ha. Soon. Soon, TM. Catch me. Come on. What's going on? No, Quagga. No quagga. You have no quagga. So I think there might be a glitch or something with the quagga. Well, that's disappointing. Yeah, none of these guys have quagga babies. Well, I am disappoint. So that didn't work. I'm gonna have to look into alternate methods of getting a new quagga. Quagga fail. So let's take a look at what we have next. What we're gonna work on next. We'll leave the quagga pen. That will still be the quagga pen. Because uh, I want quaggas. Yeah. Hello, Doditos. Wow, look at them. They've got eggs spewing out. There we go. They're so cute, the Dododios. What is that? Is that a lightning bug? Let's play. How's our compies? I mean, whatever they are. They're doing good. Look at him. He's just chilling. He's just chilling looking out the window. How you doing, baby? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna eat my okonomiyaki. Uh, take a look here. We've got some... Hmm. What are these? I don't want to do those. Let's do mammoths next. Mammoths are big. So I think next time we're going to hatch some mammoths. So I guess like if you guys have liked this video, leave me some comments down below. And I will see you guys all next time in zoo crafting. Bye-bye.